Welcome to prep day. If you haven't seen the intro video for this challenge, do that first. So today we're gonna prep five things. If you haven't got the groceries yet, you find a shopping list in the end of the PDF or click generate shopping list in the app. Overnight oats for breakfast, bliss balls for snacks, a no tuna mix for tomorrow's lunch, a pasta sauce and a dressing for a roast bowl. If you're using my app for the meal plan and you prefer a metric system you can change that in the app settings and that way you will get milliliters and grams. Starting with vanilla overnight oats. So to prep this we need some oats and chia seeds. I'm just using regular rolled oats, some chia seeds, unsweetened vegan yogurt, vanilla extract, pumpkin seeds and unsweetened plant milk. Then I'm just stirring it all up into um, yeah, a batter and setting that aside to thicken up while preparing the next thing, choco bliss balls. For this you also need some rolled oats, so I'm just adding that into your food processor, some dates. If you're using dry dates you can soak them in hot water for about 5 minutes and save the liquid. Then I'm also adding some cacao powder and vanilla extract, blending that up into a um, formable dough. If it's too dry you can add in a little bit of that date liquid or water. Then I'm just rolling it up into balls, covering them in cacao powder. You can also use shredded uh, coconut. That's also delicious. And yeah, now they're ready for the week. Prep number three is a no tuna sandwich mix. I've been dying to show you this one because it's so yummy, it is creamy. So the base, we're gonna use some uh, chickpeas, which I'm just rinsing and adding to the container in which we're gonna store it in. So I'm just matching up the chickpeas into to one uh, even match. It's okay with some lumps. <laughs> and I'm adding some vegan mayo, lemon juice, mustard, salt, and some plant milk. Stirring that up into a creamy mash. Then I'm adding in some pickles, some red onion, and combining that into, yeah, until it's combined. <laughs> then I'm just covering it with a lid, place it into the fridge, and it's done. And now we're gonna prep a pasta sauce. To prep a pasta sauce is a game changer, I promise you. <laughs> so for a base, we're using cashew nuts. If you don't have a high spill blender, I would recommend to boil the cashew nuts for five minutes and then drain before adding it to the blender together with the rest of the ingredients. Then I'm just blending it all up until it's completely smooth and adding it to a sealable jar, seal it with a lid and it's done for the week. The last prep is the yummiest curd dressing for this week's roast bowl. So I'm just adding in some hummus, lemon juice, spices, harissa paste, maple syrup into a jar. And then I'm also thinning it out with a little bit of water until I reach a desired consistency. And seal it with a lid and place it in the fridge and it's ready to go. By now the vanilla overnight oats should have thickened up. Since I'm making this meal plan for two people, I'm filling four jars jars of this overnight oats and either you can just store it like this with a lid and have it in the fridge or you can add on the toppings directly on top so you don't have to do anything in the morning so I'm adding peanut butter and raspberries placing that in the fridge and it's ready to go for the week don't forget that you can at all times join this plant-based challenge just click the link in the description down below and you will get the meal plan plus all information about it 